it is winter and it's raining so we are not doing any outside work for the foreseeable future so let's go and see what the first inside job is right so the first room or area inside that we're going to be working on is the old fuel tank room so when she was a hdl the fuel tanks were here they're not here anymore but it's basically a walk through but there's quite a lot of work to do in there isn't there uh, so we've yeah. got lots of lots of like frame repair or web frame repairs and we don't quite know what's underneath our feet do we so i think the first job is let's get everything out this cupboard strip the cupboard out and just start cleaning and prepping and maybe today we'll tackle getting that old poo tank out What are you gonna do with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite big this room. Once we move all this rubbish out of the way, it's gonna be like a little cold place. Easy to work anyway. So I'm excited to get rid of this cupboard because it's just it's just in the way. I, I feel see. like it hasn't been that long yeah. since I actually built this cupboard. You didn't build a cupboard. We put the shelves in. Oh, true. Yeah. Same thing, isn't it? Similar. Just don't knock me. <laughs> oh, it was years ago. It was. It was like one of the first jobs we done was in this room, wasn't it? And didn't you do a good job? Look at that. Beautiful. Uh -huh. But yeah, so now hopefully this engine room door will then open all the way round. That's exciting. And then we can proper get under the. Um, Soul. Speaking in nautical. Why do you just hit it with a hammer? Because sometimes it's just easier to unscrew <laughs> stuff, do you? Not everything revolves around brute force. <laughs> I read a comment about, on your Facebook group thing. Like somebody said. My Facebook is our Facebook. Someone, group, someone saying what I would do is iron it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> the computer that made me laugh. I was just thinking, that's just me all over. So I spent all day yesterday editing a video, literally all day, and just as I'd finished it, the computer just died. So some some words come out of my mouth that are not appropriate for YouTube. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really struggling because we're really working on quite old systems on, a, on old computers and stuff like that, but it's to go and spend two grand on a decent computer or do I buy stuff for Sarinda and Sarinda's sort of the priority. <laughs> so... And feeding me. If it kids. gets to the point <laughs> where I can't make videos... You know, it's because Simon's had a go at the computer with a sledgehammer. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if there's ever not a video on a Friday, you know why. Because <laughs> I've taken someone's advice. Use your head, love. Come on. It's all right, you stand here to hold that heavy camera. It is quite heavy, actually. All right, that was two down, you've got one to go. Come on, get on your back. Come on, just, just hit it. Oh, no. It's like demolition. This is the only time we can actually go, like... Oh, it's a good workout for your core down here. Yeah, we put these in years ago as well, these screws. Not non-stainless steel. Nothing wrong with them, is there? <sighs> Do you think we should tell there's loads of screws on there they're gonna fall off? Right? So we got your safety spectacles on. I know. Thank you. 
these safety trainers. They steal tow cab trainers? Yeah. That's a good bit of wood, though, actually. Use that Reuse for that bench. For th oh, bench, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Maybe we need another bench in here. I think we do. This is what I've been waiting for. So you can actually open this door all the way up. All the way up. Oh! <laughs> it's just too big. <laughs> Even when that's not there, it's not going to go, is it? Because the stairs. I have to move the door over a bit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's disappointing. I think we should get all this nicely shot blasted. I wonder what this door came out of, because I can't imagine they bought it new for the in the 80s. It'd probably come out of something else, didn't it? So yeah. This the, this door's probably got some history on its own, yeah. I was like... Has it got no stamps anywhere or anything? I don't anything? know, I'll have a look for that, actually. Oh, there used to be some sort of plate there, but... I mean, that's probably World War, World, yeah, World War II, isn't it? So all of this ceiling is going to come out as well because that's just not very really much use, is it? Oh, just fell down on the top. No, you definitely just want to screw that. Heavier than it looks, though, isn't it? It is. It's like it's, it's, it's just on hardboard. It's hardboard. Who uses hardboard? What the hell? You are though. It's not. It's probably the one, best. <laughs> one of the only pieces on the boat that's not rotten. Yeah. Okay, so we may as well remove these little walls as well, which um, we're gonna lose our little handle. But never mind. Right, so they're next to come out. The only thing that I'm really doing is holding this light switch on here, but Gemma's just had an idea what you're going to do. I'm just going to cut round it so we can leave the light switch there. <laughs> is there anything behind me? Um, yeah, um, there's a piece of wood right along here. How far down do I need to go then? Um, go a bit lower just for... Yeah, OK. <laughs> Should we just turn the light switch out? Probably be easier, won't it? It's only held in with one screw anyway. Is it a good one? No, it's rusty as anything. <laughs> You're not keeping them light switches? Oh no. On the final build? <laughs> rusty light switch. They look like... Do a little small one here, right? Yeah, I can do the small one, maybe. Oh. <laughs> right, so there you go. What questions are you asking yourself now? Is it live? Was it? It's not now. <laughs> it is. It is though. I well, know it is. <laughs> Just don't lick it. But okay, is it bad for you? No, it's only twelve volt. No, it's not. It's 24 volt, isn't it? Yeah, it's not going to kill me today because I'm not going to lick the ends. But you can touch them. I'm not going to them. But you can touch no, them. No, because I, okay. I just shouted at Simon for doing that. <laughs> I was saying to Jim, right, if you ever come across a wire in the boat, right, that's like hanging out on the wall somewhere. And then I was saying to her, don't grab it with two hands, just like give it a quick flick with your finger to see if it's live. <laughs> and she said, well, I'm going to get the multimeter out instead. I'm like, okay, yeah. But are you sure you're going to have the. the it connected to guarantee that. Oh, just, just touch it. Maybe yeah. I... <laughs> you made up. Yeah. Believe mum then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hammer time. Hammer time. Well, it is, I call this my joke hammer because it's like, sort of, looks like sort of a clown would have, isn't it? No, I've got a better joke hammer. You're going to use the big one. <laughs> Ready? 
Why don't we just try and unscrew it first? Why does everything have to just resort to a hammer? Yeah, because them, them screws are actually quite good. It's like a man's answer to everything, isn't it? Get the hammer, dear. It's the only time we get to, like... Have to be careful they fall down the stairs now. I don't know what just fell off downstairs. <laughs> 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 this is screwed on, and the ceiling just fell off. <laughs> oh, there you go. So this is a job. Excellent. Wow, just look how nice everything actually looks. Uh, so this is um, our hydraulic steering line, isn't it? So yeah, these are our, our hydraulic lines. Um, basically go from the helm all the way back to the steering gear at the back and then via the hydraulic pump maybe somewhere. But yeah, in here they look really good. They do. Think... Shame everywhere else they look crap, but... Cool. So this is the deck above the wheelhouse, but then obviously you go to the outside deck. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, yeah, be careful with them ones, because them, them ones will spoil your day. Oh, lift it up. Hold on, where's it go? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Check it out, it looks ace with the stairs like that. It looks like a grand entrance or something. <laughs> All right, so for this one, for this one, we're going to turn the AC off and then we know we're safe. See if you can switch it off before I unscrew it. <laughs> I might delay actually. This place is like surprisingly big. I've got rid of all the junk in the cupboards and stuff like that. What about some big tanks, wouldn't it? Bad news though. What's the bad news? Well, the stairs sit on top of the floor and this is sort of the next area we need to get to to get this old tank out oh, so I we're going to be able to slide them out without moving the stairs well we will we don't need to we can't remove them can we we don't need to remove them so if we adapt the floor to be able to come up with leaving the stairs in we can cut around it or something like that yeah um, but I'm, I'm well impressed. Do a dance, Gem. Look how big it is. I don't think I could swing a cat, though. <laughs> could I? No. Not without banging his head. <laughs> you could say that by the engine room, couldn't you? So you could swing a cat in there. <laughs> oh, there's one piece behind your head that we're not taking off. See what we're doing now. Let's see what we're not doing. Okay, so are we at the point of lifting floors? Yeah, I think we've removed as much of the unnecessary stuff that was screwed to the walls and stuff like that. So yeah, which side do you want to do? I think we should start with this side because we know we've got a few tank ones there we need to get rid of. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you start with this side instead. No, before we do that side, I just want to have a quick look what's under here because um there might be like Pirate treasure or something. Oh. Uh. Interesting. No ballast! Did you 
know we had a bilge pump there? I didn't. Is it actually connected? Oh, we've got a shovel. Ugh. Oh, that doesn't go to anything. Okay. Okay, so... so what was down there, do you think? I don't, so that bilge pump isn't actually plumbed into anything? Um, no. And what's that from? This is... That's the pressure switch. Pressure? Pressure switch. Pressure switch. Pressure oil. Pressure oil. switch. So there would have been a big water pump down there. And it's just a mass of wires. Oh, come on, there's empty down there as well. Let's have a look. Excellent. It's just wasted space, isn't it? Oh, we've put stuff there, can't we? Uh, have we ever done anything down here? And has there ever been any ballast? Hold um, on, I know we put ballast in the middle, didn't we? Yeah, we, we use that for short term storage ages ago in the middle and it's still there now. Um, Maybe we need to refer back to old videos. Yeah. That, that bilge pump is connected to this pipe uh, yeah. that goes off and then goes out through that skin pit in there. Yeah. Hmm. So maybe that's why I got water in there. Maybe no. we need to see if it works. Hmm. Just change it. So, no so is there any ballast down there? Zero. There's nothing to build the stairs up now. <laughs> so why is the tank like bulging up? Is it? Don't tell me it's that full. Of <laughs> it's got, I got, I got my last bit. Problem one. So the stairs are all right. So we've, we've fat boy on it. Is it? Um, yeah, it's fine now. Excellent. Just put a weight restriction sticker on it. <laughs> Are you being brave there? <laughs> show me show your balls. Not mine, like. Is it with the pants on? So, this area is our, our waste tank. So, basically, what goes in there? Poo. Ship. Ship. <laughs> Full ship. Right, so, but we actually had a look at this a while ago. Um, the tank has actually split. <laughs> and there is fluid in there, you know. Is there? Yeah. And somebody tried to put tape over it, that wasn't us either. So what we need to do is get this tank out right. and off the boat. Okay, so if it's split, obviously we don't want this everywhere. Is it worth unscrewing the access hatch? Yeah, and pumping it out. To have a look. Oh. Yeah, what we're going to have to, aren't we? It's just... It's this video may end with vomit. <laughs> well, no. I was saying this to Gemma. It doesn't smell, though. There's no smell. It's all this thing's gone out of it. It's potentially just like... 40-year-old... Flood water in there and stuff. Um, it's probably quite good for the crops. If we had any. Fertiliser? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, so we're going to have to take... Yeah. Oh, I suppose that'll come out quite easier for that. Woo! Right, so let's strip all the surrounding areas, get all the bits of random wood out of it. These screws are actually like plastic. Plucky screws. How weird is that? Shows. Huh? Whoa. I love them, they're quite like flexible. Non metallic screws, eh? Yeah. Water. It doesn't smell or anything. It's just water. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't smell. If taste it... test! <laughs> Is it salty? <laughs> I would taste it, but. Right, so we need to pump all that out of there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to use our bucket method where we put the bucket onto the hoover and it sucks and fills the bucket. So. Someone tried to do this for their own boat builders, yeah. someone on our Facebook group, and they bought cheap buckets and the buckets just imploded. So the buckets that we used, the really, really heavy oh, duty, the proper, 
Um, yeah. We didn't buy them. <laughs> we got yeah. Yeah. we got them from um, by our unit. There's a company that um, do cannery, so they pour um, drinks into cans. So basically, this was a bucket of lime juice. <laughs> but they are really strong, aren't they? Right. I was gonna. It. Well, I think it's <laughs> no, good. I think it's water. It is water. Jim but has, obviously, Jim has tasted it. my bucket's already black, so if it comes out a bit murky, it's because my bucket. I've just dropped a log in there. A piece of wood just fell in. There's a log in the poop tank, love. <laughs> you blocked it, blocked it up again. <laughs> right, go on, turn it suction. on. Are you doing the suction? I'll do the suction. That's fine, that's... It's, the water, it's just clear, isn't it? It is. Does it smell no. like no. urine? No. Just water. Cool. Right, let's keep emptying that then. Right, so she's empty now. That wasn't quite as traumatic as I was, as I was expecting, but right, we need to get it out of the hole now and then off the boat, maybe. We've got a lot of stuff to get off the boat. Yeah. Our rubbish pile is um, growing extremely large. Okay, okay, cool. Go, go, girl. <laughs> I've got oh. to use your head to balance. <laughs> Ugh. I'm going to pull this pipe, it's going to fall off in it. <laughs> <laughs> Splash me. <laughs> okay. That's quite drama free. Yeah, we always anticipate drama, don't we? Right, so we just give it a good pull and it's starting to come off and then Gemma went like right, sliding down. <laughs> Still going for a bath then. <laughs> More water! So this is what happens when it just sits for years. The bilge pumps don't work, or that one over there doesn't work. There's not even one over here. I think it's a system that we definitely need to start getting fitted on the boat, isn't it? Yeah, because, because that's a bulkhead and that's a bulkhead. And then so this water never gets shared between. So the, I'm not worried about it being like salt water, but I'm worried about being fresh water that's sitting in the bilge and just sort of rot on the boat. And it, makes, and it makes the boat heavy, doesn't it? The boat yeah. gets more fresh water in than it does salt water, doesn't yeah. it? Well, right. Let's continue. Right, so we've removed the fuel tank then. Poop tank. Um we now need to get rid of this ballast that we distributed here a long time ago. So that should be quite an easy move because it's all bagged up. So should we just bag it? Well, pick it up and just literally stick it there for now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me tidy this wood up. Done. They're only 40 kilos each, but I'm not feeling that strong at the moment. Um, yeah, we've been a bit tired. I've been off for a few days, to be honest with you, because I've had no energy, so good good day to come back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll sleep tonight, dear. Yeah. It's easier moving than when they're in the ears, isn't it? Yeah, you can't get hold of them. I like your t-shirt. Does my head look bald in this? Well, does it? <laughs> Answer in the comments. So we had a question on Facebook the other day about Simon's skincare routine. Mm. 
He has a bath once a year, whether he likes it or not. And whether I need it or not. I don't mean... <laughs> no. Um... She's used very liquid. <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> Diesel. The other's getting covered in mud. Like, maybe it's here. Maybe it's Surinder's mud. He's only 64. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that one says on the side. Oh, that's, oh, that's 56 kilograms, that one. Five, six. 56, coming up. <sighs> Why do I always end up swimming? <laughs> Are you hurt though? No, I'm just embarrassed a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit embarrassed. Oh, babe, your pants are all wet. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <sighs> we need to, like, keep, like, five different changes of clothes here for you. <laughs> oh, bless him. Right, so we've managed to find some change of shoes and Ta -da! jeans. Are you OK? I'm fine. I've got, like, a bit of a bruise on the back of my leg and I've hit my arm a bit, but it's mainly me... <laughs> Pride. <laughs> yeah, pride a little bit. It's fine, it's all good. And how do you feel knowing like you've just made thousands of people probably wet themselves <laughs> laughing? <laughs> well, it can't be worse than you. <laughs> no. I'm one of them people, I don't laugh at somebody until I know they're okay. <laughs> well, I was down there and I thought, you may as well capture this and get it on camera. It's because of the camera's rolling them, wasn't it? <laughs> I've right. actually got tears. I've been <laughs> laughing that much. But are you okay to continue? Yeah, yeah. I think it's them. Um... Oh, it's that slippy there. It's that paint there, what? Is it? Yeah, and maybe you tie your laces. Yeah. So you don't trip over them. Yeah. Well, they are tied. They're just a bit long. But yeah, it's that painted area. Okay, ready? <sighs> Did put elephant floor? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> At least the water might have drained out then, might it? Woohoo! Alright, so we've got like a plywood floor thing down there. That needs coming up now. Yeah. It's not going to be nice, is it? Great, we stood across here again. <laughs> I think you just found the strongest part of the boat. <laughs> oh, I thought you was gone again then. <laughs> Not today. Can't do it twice in one day. Yeah. You want me to come and help you pull it? Thing is, because of these pieces, is it gonna? It's rolling to its side now. Yes. That needs to go straight outside. All right. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this water. Do to watch the water go down. Okay. So there's water's pretty much out. So I think the next job really, I need to get down there and shovel as much as, like, there's big chunks of stuff. Um, shovel it, and should we get the jet wash out? Yes, here's a good jet wash to make a nice place to work, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get my wellies on for this job, though, because it is dirty down there. If only I could fix something Run straight through to the end
Okay, so that's the first pass done with the jet wash. Simon's got rid of some unnecessary wires. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pump this water out into buckets. Give it another clean out if there's anything that'll get stuck with the hoover. Another jet wash. And then hopefully we'll try and be a bit more mud free. Okay. One bucket full. Next okay. bucket, please. <laughs> Good job we've got loads of these buckets. Yes. I'm just not looking forward to taking them off the boat because they're heavy. <laughs> It was easy to put them in. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, they're just iron them. They're not lead, which is weird. I bet you wish you had a white suit on like me. No. <laughs> It's not white anymore though. <laughs> Girls, you giving it a good brush before we give it another jet wash? Yeah. If you had a white suit on, you won't get the full the full experience, would you? <laughs> but yeah, we're just using these little plastic sort of mini car wash things. And some detergents. Random nail. Oh, no. <laughs> what have you done? Well, I thought I'd leaned my bum against the radiator and burnt it, and I went ow, and then as I said ow, Simon went, oh my god, move! <laughs> the radiator pipes just burst, and um, <laughs> it's literally just poured and boiling hot water all over my bum. At least the. Um, At least got warm water to clean the bilge. <laughs> Oh man, um, I don't know what to do. Just dump it all into there, full of hot water. Okay. <laughs> right, so what we can do now is set the radio off the wall, can't we? We'll blank that radiator off. So we're now literally losing all of our heating, like the water. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that yeah, means yeah, that yeah. we're going to have to start bringing more water over to fill the heating system off again with. Ugh. Yes. Great. It's not one thing, it's you another. <laughs> well, this is not in the house, isn't it? Or that was quite warm. I just thought, like, literally, I had my bummer just touched the radiator as I was bending over cleaning. And next to it, I looked behind me, and it was just, it just filled with steam. <sighs> so. Luckily, I've got the, I've got the temperature set. It's about 75 degrees, so. I don't think it's like melting your skin. Is your skin melted? No, but it warmed me bum. <laughs> I'm quite glad I had my protective layer on. Your protective layer. You <laughs> <laughs> wash your protective layer with that. Oh, why is it not ever straightforward? Right then, so that's all scrubbed. Still absolutely minging. But I'm hoping after this second jet wash, it'll come up even better.
about it because they have miserable gem rules. <laughs> So I know the uh, question that is on everyone's minds is, did I find any treasure in my 80-year-old bilge? And the disappointing answer is no. <laughs> the most exciting thing I found was I snapped the head off a screwdriver and loads of little blocks of wood that we still don't understand where they come from. <laughs> what about the gold we found? Shh, don't tell them about that. The tax man will be all <laughs> over us. <laughs> so... That is what it looks like after two days' work of cleaning out and stuff. So, obviously, there's no gunky stuff down there anymore. And, obviously, this bilge hasn't been cleaned out for at least 40 years because that poo tank has not moved out of there since it was built in the 80s. Um, the only bilge pump we had here didn't work. And we've never pumped out any water from this location. So, the water that we did have has probably just been sat there for many, many, many years. So what we need to do now, really, is wait for it all to dry. It's still going to need another clean before we go down the route of doing any painting or anything in here. But it's clean enough now where we're not working in the mud. So next time, we will assess all the damage that we've got in this area and crack on repairing it. So I think I need to go with a bath. Um, Thanks for watching. See you next week. So next time we definitely need to have a look to see why this engine bearer isn't connected properly. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the project, please like this video and subscribe to the channel because that really does help us massively. Big shout out to all of our Patreons, Coffee Monthly members and everyone who just helps us by making a one-off donation. You guys are what are making this project possible. So thank you so much. See you all next week.